What to do, YouTube? Welcome back to another video, guys. In today's video, we're going to be going over a highly, highly debatable topic right now in the Black Ops 3 community, and that would be the COD point system. Now, a lot of people are saying the COD point system is going to be the death of Black Ops 3. But, however, I myself do not think so. I think that we should all have faith in Treyarch because Treyarch has obviously proven itself to be the best developer of the three. And last year with Advanced Warfare, they did micro DLCs completely wrong. They actually made it a competitive edge. As you all know, in Advanced Warfare, there were all kinds of different, you know, versions of weapons that were obviously clearly better than others, like the Bow 27 Obsidian Steed or the ASM-1 Speakeasy. They were, they were clearly better than the default versions of the weapon. So then rose the question a lot of people asked was, well, is this now pay to win? Because you need to get the best guns and, you know, all that kind of different stuff. And later on they introduced, like, all kinds of crazy different variants that were just crazy better than the default versions. And here in Black Ops 3, they have now actually released buyable supply drops, which is exactly what they did in Advanced Warfare. And that's when things got really out of control, is when they actually became viable. Now, however, Treyarch has released a um, other form of the combat knife. Which is literally just a reskin. It's only a reskin. And personally, I think they did this to see what the community feedback would be. You know, if it was good feedback, maybe they would continue to do it. If it wasn't, then they would just, you know, scratch that idea. So, you know, us as a community, we need to speak up and let Treyarch know what we want. I am a firm believer of cosmetic micro DLC. I think that that is perfectly fine in the game. You know, if you enjoy the game so much that you want to pay $3 for a cool camo... And you have the money to do so, well, knock yourself out. Go right ahead, you know. But for those people that don't want to ha spend extra money or don't have the extra money, they shouldn't have to just to be good at the game. And this is what Treyarch's doing, you know. They're just adding in cosmetic things like camos and gun reskins and all that good stuff. And they're really not adding anything that makes the game pay to win. And as long as Treyarch keeps it this way, I think the Call of Duty Black Ops 3 will be just fine. Now, a very controversial thing is in a patch note or like a tweet or something, I don't remember what it was, somebody from Treyarch said uh, very key, they were very key about their language and they said something like upcoming weapon variants or something like that. Now, I honestly, I'm completely against it. I don't think we should have weapon variants in Call of Duty. It just kind of makes the game pay to win because there's always going to be that one weapon variant that's going to be superior. And... You know, that gets to the point where you're starting to cross into the pay-to-win thing like Advanced Warfare was, and the community obviously does not want that. We have spoken up, we have let Treyarch know, and I personally don't think the Treyarch is going to do this to us. You know, if any if any developer we should have faith in, guys, it should be Treyarch. So make sure that you all remember that, because Treyarch, by far the best developer, and personally I don't think they've ever done anything like that, like that caused huge community backlash that I can remember. But guys... I just want to let you all know that, give you all my opinion on the subject at hand here that the community has been talking about a lot. And, uh, yeah, hope you all enjoyed this video, and don't forget to hit the subscribe button to make sure that you get my videos every single day and get a notification for them. Don't forget to do that because, guys, tomorrow or later on tonight, I'm going to be releasing the first episode of my new series, The Pack-A-Punch Weapon Review, for all you zombies players out there. So... Make sure you stay tuned for that, and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye bye. Yeah.